let people know that there are about um, 300 souls on um, this uh, online gathering right now, and we're going to be recording to share with many more people. We're happy to make that available afterwards. Um, yeah, sending a lot of love to everyone during this time. So we're going to start off um, with uh, my beloved uh, Paulina Hernandez. Hey folks, good afternoon. Um, thank you so much for joining us on this call. We know that it has been a really hard week, um, not just for folks in Orlando, for, for a lot of our communities and ourselves um, and a lot of our people that have not just um, been watching the news about what has been happening in Orlando or beginning to hear um, around the world, but also the people that have been continuing to experience daily violence at the hands of homophobia and transphobia and gender violence and racism and xenophobia. And knowing that for a lot of us, this has been a moment to reflect on all of the rising conditions and hostility against many of our folks. And um, being in Orlando and seeing and being a part of um, just watching the local, the local resistance, watching our people um, really begin to, to reflect not just on the root causes about what is happening, but also on the, on the history of terror that has always been um, part of Florida. Um, back to the Seminole Wars, back to Jim Crow, um, sort of war, one of the worst atrocities of Jim Crow, Rosewood, um, to a lot of the ways that, knowing that the ways, um, while the, a lot of the pain and also compounded hardship inside of the Puerto Rican community has been around the economic push out um, in Puerto Rico. So knowing that there's so many complicated things that are, that our people are holding right now, um, and knowing that, that we have to carve out space for each other and to check in and to know that we believe in sacred times and in sacred spaces and that ultimately the longing that makes us want each other as LGBT people, as gay, as gay lesbian, bi and trans people, as immigrant people, as Latino people, as Latinx folks, is ultimately what we build community around. And it's beautiful to see our people even now reclaim space. We've been in solidarity with folks in Orlando right now that are holding multiple events across the city. Um, some of who we also invited onto this call, some of who we will be calling in, and a lot of which who told us, you know, that there's multiple ways that our communities are convening all across Central Florida and across Florida to continue to hold our people down and to continue to interrogate the root causes and create some actual fortitude to move forward as a community. And so. We look forward to talking to y'all some more about that, ways that we're doing that, a song, um, as mi gente, as a lot of us that are building shared political family in response to this, and appreciate your time and willingness to be in this conversation with us and to carve out some space um, for this. So, thank y'all. This is Kara Page, Prayer for 49 Spirits. Fly, fly, fly up and away, brown angels, swathed in white cloth, take flight, high, high, higher, tempo, pulse, sway. I imagine you are at grand tables now with the likes of Gloria Antaldua, Baldwin, Che, and Puerto Rican freedom fighters, spewing revolution on spirit's tongue. We will hold you in memory, hold the tempo for your dance. We know you were someone's lover. We know you were someone's friend. We know you were someone's son and daughter. We know you were someone's sweet, sweet melody, someone's poem, someone's lifeline. Your memory now wrapped on our banners for freedom, your dance of sweat and sway now draped in the tempo and the sachet of clubs and ballrooms. I hope you got to know love while you were here. I hope you got to feel tenderness and joy, to know desire and taste the fight for our liberation. You are in our dreams now, heart beat, heart beat. We take a breath and begin again, and we will hold each other changed and transformed from your sacrifice. 
We will rise, rise, rise with righteousness. Take your winged dreams and burst into action and light in revelatory song towards our freedom. We breathe you in syncopated, syncopated pulse. Fly, fly up, sweet, sweet angels to freedom as we begin again in the tempo of your light. We will fight for unpoliced, unimprisoned, undeported, unencumbered black and brown bodies. We will fight for our freedom in your name as you fly, fly home. This is Tana, um, steering committee uh, for the Muslim Alliance for Sexual and Gender Diversity, um, and also a trauma responder to young people impacted by homicide and community violence. Um, I wanted to take a moment to um, remember that we are connected and um, in times like these, it's so easy to disconnect in big and small ways. Um, and so I'd like to share um, a poem and a short prayer. This is uh, Rumi. It's called Saladin's Begging Bowl. Of these 2,000, I and we people, which am I? Don't try to keep me from asking. Listen when I'm this out of control. There is an original inside me. What's here is a mirror for that, for you. If you are joyful, I am. If you grieve or if you're bitter or graceful, I take on those qualities. Like the shadow of a cypress tree in the meadow, like the shadow of a rose, I live close to the rose. If I separated myself from you, I would turn entirely thorn. Every second, I drink another cup of my own blood wine. Every instant, I break an empty cup against your door. I reach out. Generosity lights a candle in my chest. Who am I then? Late by myself, in the boat of myself, no light and no land anywhere, cloud cover thick. I try to stay just above the surface, yet I'm already under and living within the ocean. Does sunset sometimes look like the sun's coming up? Do you know what a faithful love is like? You're crying. You say you've burned yourself, but can you think of anyone who's not hazy with smoke? Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. I pray that you grant us the grace of staying connected to each other in these times. Ya Allah, may we be strengthened in our kindness to each other. May we be strengthened in our generosity toward one another. May we, may we be strengthened in our commitment to keeping our humanity to growing our humanity, Ya Allah. And may we see through anything that would have us turn to illusions about our goodness. Ya Allah, help us to have an understanding from within about what community means. Amin, amin, amin. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ya Rahim, Maliki, Ya Midin, Iyaka Na'udu wa Iyaka Nasta'in, Ihdina Surat Al-Mustaqeen, Surat Al-Ladhina Anamta Alayhim, Ghayl Al-Maqtubi Alayhim, Walad-Dameen, Ar-Rameen. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Ford and I'm with the Unitarian Universalist Association. And 
here we are again, hearts breaking and souls weary, some of us angry, wrestling with our grief. It's been a year since we mourned Mother Emmanuel AME. And here we are again, another sanctuary, another place hallowed by our presence, our passion, our perspiration, violated, left wondering, where can we be safe? Where can we be free? Where can we truly live as whole? When we come together like this, it is in part to remember that we belong and we are not alone. And the remarks I share, I did not craft alone. I wrote with my colleague, Meg Riley. My dear young, aging, ageless queers, you who are daring to come out, while your fears are well-founded, please allow your community to hold you, support you, love you, and create spaces for you to be whole enough and fully yourself. My Muslim neighbors, you who are in the midst of Ramadan, who love your faith and embrace its compassionate practice, who are now witnessing your sacred identity being defined as terrorism by the US media once again, please know that not all viewers buy that hateful rhetoric. Please know that hatred will not win. Your faith, you are a gift to our world. We need you just as you are in our world, whole, holy, and imperfect. My queer, lesbian, gay, bisexual, gender queer, and trans family of color, you who in this season of Juneteenth and Pride Fest are mourning and celebrating and holding yourself and each other tightly, keep holding, keep living loud. Audrey Lord ends her poem, A Litany of Survival, with these words. She says, when we speak, we are afraid. We are afraid our words will not be heard nor welcomed. But when we are silent, we are still afraid. So it is better to speak, remembering we were never meant to survive. It is better to speak. It is absolutely okay to live out loud. It is better to wage love and compassion, to feel our deep grief and despair, yes, and to stay in the dance for justice because we were never meant to survive, and yet we do, we can, we will. All of us who are struggling to hold on to our humanity in the face of this latest atrocity, let the tears come. Do not listen to the peddlers of fear. Struggle to find the witnesses of love and resilience and honor their stories, honor our stories. All of us who are struggling to hold on to our humanity, refuse to allow the violence that talks us here, even in our most sacred of places, and the violence that our government allows to perpetuate elsewhere to assassinate our own humanity, refuse to, refuse to divide our communities into categories of us and them. Let us look deep within this mess of terror and healing and choose life and choose love over and over and over. Refuse to give up the quest for a country in which gun violence is obsolete. Refuse to give up the quest for a country in which lives of the systemically disenfranchised are routinely disregarded and discarded. Refuse to give up the quest for a country that reflects your commitment, your ideal. You beautiful, imperfect, holy, whole, grace-filled beings gathered here on this day, your lives are sacred. The love and justice you bring into the world matters. Hold on to yourselves, to each other, to your vision for the world. We do belong, and we are not alone. We who were never meant to survive the forces of oppression and violence that threaten our existence will keep on speaking, keep on working, keep on loving. The warm and fuzzy erotic filial love, yes. As well as that love that is a verb, that love that's active, that love that animates our being to demand justice for ourselves, our neighbors, from our elected officials, and in our politics. May grace that is ever abundant surround and hold us, giving us strength in these moments of grief, despair, outrage, giving us courage to keep on speaking, keep on loving, keep on loving. And may our passion for justice shine like a beacon from our heart always.
Greetings. Thank you for that. This is Malachi uh, Garza. And uh, I wanted to start with just a little uh, word of love from my 93-year-old grandmother sitting next to me right now. You could just talk right into that. Um, I just want to say um, that I'm just filled with uh, love and admiration for everything, everybody who uh, who is responsible for this little love fest that we're having today to honor the, the poor children that, that died so sadly in Orlando. Thank you very much. This is just an outpouring of my love for everybody. Thank you. And I follow that to say thank you. This is a prayer for the sanctuary. This is a prayer for the cutie pock for the working class LGBT people who saved my life, the sanctuary. We are here confirming life and love, strength and resiliency within our pain. This is a prayer for continued rebirth, for prayer. This is a prayer for love and fierceness and thank you for each other. This is a prayer for the 16-year-old girl who was shot on Tuesday in Oakland, California, as I stood in a parking lot and 10 feet from me. A freight dancer coming out of a funeral was shot down in the Oakland streets. And as my heart broke again, I realized in our suffering, we are not alone. This is a prayer for all of us and for all of our people. This is a prayer for an answer to the question, what is it to lead while suffering? From how to live from Thich Nhat Hanh, there is a piece he says, a pot in search of a lid that very often we feel like a pot without a lid. We believe that our lid is somewhere in the world and as we look very hard, we will find the right lid to cover our pot. The feelings of emptiness are always there inside of us. We want someone who will look at us and embrace our feeling of emptiness and suffering with energies of mindfulness and self. It helps us feel less empty and helps us forget the block of suffering inside. When we focus on generating the energy of mindfulness, concentration, and connection, the insights that come can heal our suffering and help the other pe peoples as well. This is a prayer of celebration that we are each other's selves, that our lo love is stronger than hate, and that seeking answers often represent the need to seek broader relationships, deeper practices, to take our spiritual care and our care from each other or to each other, to align these more deeply, this is a prayer for our alignment. Sacred traditions often say there's physical, psychological, and spiritual death. That spiritual death transformation becomes transformational as spiritual death invokes the experience of rebirth. This is a prayer for our rebirth. To understand of this and see ourselves as sacred, as each other's selves in both dying and being reborn together in all in together all new ways. Communion is one kind communion with each other is one kind of magic that we shared today. What allows us to provide the self are the images and the things that are coded in our genetic inheritance, most alive in our consciousness. And for the gente on this call, for the Latinos that saw our people break down in this club. This is a prayer for a continued queer and brown and poor and trans loving and sacred connection. This is a prayer for our fire that we will always stand in it because together we will be reborn. This is a prayer for us to be our people's self as we are our own. Thank you. Thank you, Malachi. This is Sakari on behalf of Kindred Southern Healing Justice Collective. I just like to take this opportunity to say thank you for this space. Thank you for the individuals on the call and the communities that are represented by everyone who's able to call in. Thanks for those who were not able to make it, but who send their love and their prayers and their blessings. I'd like to open with a poem by, or quote rather, by Dr. King. We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. He who is devoid of the power to forgive is devoid of the power to love. I, my heart is heavy. And even through all of the confusion and, and the hurt and 
the pain, the tragedy, the sadness. I would just like to take this moment to find forgiveness. Take this moment to embrace our healing and embrace our restoration through forgiveness. Um, um, it's really, really important to me that we embrace and take hold of our emotional healing, not giving power to those who have taken the lives of loved ones near and far, but to use forgiveness as a key to our liberation, a key to finding peace and finding health and finding happiness through all of the hurt and all of the pain. I give thanks to those who've come before us, who've paved the way, those who've given their lives so that we can have freedom, those who've given their lives so that we can take space and hold space for others. Take this moment to pray for healing and pray for forgiveness for those who have been impacted by, by this tragedy. We pray right now for Orlando, those grieving, those were presented near and far. My heart is heavy, but I know that through taking a moment to find forgiveness, that we can find our own healing. Thank you. Thank you, Sakari. This is Lisa Anderson um, from Auburn Seminary in New York. I wrote the prayer I'm about to pray yesterday when I was at my gym. And I looked up and I saw a sea of television sets on a constant loop of news about Orlando. And my heart grew heavy at the impact that corporate media has on us at these times, especially those who live in places who cannot participate in vigils and the kind of community that many of us have been able to take advantage of. So I entitled this a call and a prayer for a corporate media Sabbath. Let us pray. Just and healing God, like Charleston, Katrina, and so many massacres before it, the violence perpetrated against our people in Orlando has become a part of the national 24-7 corporate media onslaught. Over the past seven days, we have witnessed the suffering and death of our folks, reconstructed into the sound bites, headlines, and news books, designed to secure ratings for outlets that surely do not have our best interests at heart, and we have had enough of it. In your name and for our sake, help us, Holy One, to remove ourselves from this constant and unholy barrage. Even as we know we must stay informed and engaged, give us wise and compassionate hearts so that we may discern the difference between stories that enlighten and expand our capacity to love each other hard and well, and those that perpetuate the lie that our brokenness and pain should become another example of the spectacle that is too often made of the suffering of black and brown people in this nation. O oh, divine lover of our dark queer flesh, we know that you created us for your holy purposes. We know that we are a reflection of your image. We know that we are a part of your fullness. Help us to recall, proclaim, and bear witness to this truth as we give ourselves permission to simply take a break from this madness. And in place of the madness, Holy One, guide us to those people, places, and things that mean to sow healing hope and wholeness in us, even in the midst of tragedy. Draw us closer to one another and to all those within and outside our community who love and support us. With the witness of that love and your grace ever before us, 
we say amen and amen. Thank you, Lisa. This is Imam Dai, NECA Institute. And I want to thank you all for the opportunity to speak for a few moments. I think that a couple of things are very important. Uh, many people here have, along with their congregations as well as others, have had an opportunity to share in the pain, both psychic and physical, that we felt. And we've had a chance to mourn and to think and to contemplate this week. But I think that we also now know that we must find clarity to see what our new challenge is before us. And that fear is not something that we can change to truth and being beyond what it's encompasses for us. So we move from that moment into a new moment and we transition. So it's so important. So it's two things that I think is important. We have to talk about the strength and the resilience that met this challenge after this occurrence. There were so many groups in Orlando who had worked with each other on other subjects and other matters of import to them. And they survived those, and through that, built a coalition, and it was strong. All the rhetoric did not allow it to break. They continued to work with each other, though others wanted to deem them all, whether they're LGBT, Muslim, or people of color and Latino. All of these things come to show that though they may not see it, we should know it through this demonstration, and I hope that through this process, their template of doing good and working towards greater good is a resilience that we all take. So we've seen this, and because we have not let difference separate us into disenfranchised communities, we should take heart that though it was shock that brought us to this point, we now can find some inner peace that is there, and we can make it better. But yet, yeah, this is our history, isn't it? I think so, and we continue to move forward. But the paradigm has shifted. I know in my community it has, and I'm prayerful that more Muslims will better understand their faith in ways that make us all part of a belief that does mean peace in our minds and our hearts and in our communities. So I think that if we continue in the process, future generations of all types will see that our resilience is in remembering. And remember, we shall. Thank you. Thank you, my friend, Imam Dai. Hello, beloveds. My name is Candy Holmes, and I am clergy with the Metropolitan Community Churches, MCC, where I am program officer for people of African descent. <sighs> and as I sigh, I remember sitting in a vigil in Orlando earlier in the week, and I was just so full, realizing that I was sitting in an MCC church, Joy MCC, just two blocks from the Pulse. And I just didn't know what else to do, what else to say. And then I realized I was in the midst of good people and I felt so all alone. I felt re-traumatized. And then I asked within myself, 
what can I do? And, and I heard Spirit say, let your heart break. And I took my hand and placed it over my heart. And I said, I will. And so from that experience, I was inspired to write now what I will read. And this is for those who feel alone, for those who are impacted, re-traumatized, who just don't know what else to do. Let your heart break. I heard spirits say, neither feeling your feelings nor bearing the pain will erase that blood stain yesterday. Let your heart see, I heard spirits say, see the beauty of a mother dancing with her gay son with rhythm and sway. See the horror of sanctuary ripped away. Let your heart I heard spirits say, unfreeze the locks, loosen the binds, keep breathing, keep breathing until the numbness lifts and the grace of faith leads the way. Let your heart weep, I heard spirits say, 49 souls, family, friends stolen from among us, we cry washing our weary souls with tears, massaging our dismay. Let your heart know, I heard spirits say, that we are truly each other's keeper, religious or not. No one is exempt when hate reigns. It places all of us in the fray. Let your heart heal, I heard spirits say, rest, restore, Replenish, this journey is not a sprint. Your heart, not a machine. Your body, not a throwaway. Let your heart join with others. I heard spirits say, feel each heartbeat, anxiety and fear. Grieve together, comfort together, for we all have feet of clay. Let your heart hope, I heard spirits say, a new dawning, your dreams will lead you, for these are the lights that break through the clouds, your clouds of dismay. Let your heart love who it loves, I heard spirits say, for love is love, is love, is love. We are love with skin on. And no one and no thing will reduce our love to cliche. Let your heart speak. I heard spirits say, soothe that lump in your throat that mutes you to silence. Hollow your truth, dear ones, to the mountaintops, for you are awesome, amazing, a crazy, beautiful bouquet. Let your heart bellow out, I heard spirits say. Call out hatred bigotry, violence, and hypocrisy. Lift up peace, summon love, cause malice and injustice must not stay. Let your heart guide you. I heard spirits say, go to your deep places and say no to hiding. Say yes to courage. Choose to live free and whole. Don't go halfway. Let your heart be strong. I heard spirits say, catch hold of vision, a song, a dance, a lover, a friend, and never let them go because we have only just begun to work. Be with us, we pray. I love you. I love you. Amen.
I am the great granddaughter of Dominga, the granddaughter of Rosario, the daughter of Lily, the mother of Eric. My name is Maria Cristina Blasivis, and I bring you greetings from the South, from Chile, from the Mapuche people, from my people, indigenous people, and two-spirited people. In the Latin American tradition, we honor those who have gone before us by calling out their names, because in our names are also our ancestors. And so I'm going to ask for your participation in this portion of my prayer of calling out the names and your answering presente, which means in Spanish, they are present, they are here, their spirits are with us. Stanley Almodovar, presente. Amanda Alvear, presente. Oscar Aracena Montero, presente. Rodolfo Ayala Ayala, presente. Antonio Davon Brown, presente. Daryl Roman Bird, presente. Ángel Candelario Padró, presente. Juan Chévez Martínez, presente. Luis Daniel Conde, presente. Corey James Connell, presente. Tevin Eugene Crosby, presente. Bianca Didra Drayton, presente. Simon Adrián Carrillo Fernández, presente. Leroy Valentín Fernández, presente. Mercedes Maribel Flores, presente. Peter González Cruz, presente. Juan Ramón Guerrero, presente. Paul Terrell Henry, presente. Frank Hernández, presente. Miguel Ángel Honorato, presente. Javier Jorge Reyes, presente. Jason Benjamín Josefa, presente. Eddie Jamaldroy Justice, presente. Anthony Luis Laureano Disla, presente. Christopher Andrew Leinanen, presente. Alejandro Barrios Martínez, presente. Brenda Lee Márquez McCall, presente. Gilberto Ramón Silva Menéndez, presente. Kimberly Morris, presente. Akira Monet Murray, presente. Luis Omar Ocasio Capó, presente. Geraldo Ortiz Jiménez, presente. Eric Iván Ortiz Rivera, presente. Joel Ryan Pañagua, presente. Jean Carlos Méndez Pérez, presente. Enrique Ríos Jr., presente. Jean Nives Rodríguez, presente. Javier Emanuel Serrano Rosado, presente. Christopher Joseph Sanfeliz, presente. Gilmari Rodríguez Sullivan, presente. Edward Sotomayor Jr., presente. Shane Evan Tomlinson, presente. Martín Benítez Torres, presente. Jonathan Antonio Camuy Vega, presente. Juan Rivera Velázquez, presente. Luis Vielma, presente. Frankie Jimmy de Jesús Velázquez, presente. Luis Daniel Wilson León, presente. Gerald Arthur Wright, presente. Por todos nuestros muertos, estos muertos que están en nuestros corazones, por todos sus espíritus de luz que nos den fuerza para seguir luchando por un mundo más amoroso, por un mundo con más justicia. A ellos le honramos hoy aunque demasiado jóvenes para ser nuestros ancestros, sean ellos bendecidos, sean nuestras vidas más iluminadas por ellos haber estado aquí en esta tierra, nuestra Pachamama, our Mother Earth. Blessings, blessings to everyone listening, to all these names, may they turn into light, and may they lift up to honor our ancestors too young to be our ancestor, too soon to join the ancestors, and yet they will give us strength to continue in the struggle for a more loving world, for a more just world, for a world with true peace. Ashe, amen. I would like to offer my song to everybody listening. This is a song called Solo le pido a Dios, I only ask God that I may never be indifferent to pain, 
that I may never be indifferent to injustice. Solo le pido a Dios que el dolor no me sea indiferente, que la reseca muerte no me encuentre vacía y sola sin haber hecho lo suficiente. Solo le pido a Dios que lo injusto no me sea indiferente, que no me abofete en la otra mejilla, después que una garra me araño esta suerte. Solo le pido a Dios que en la guerra no me sea indiferente, es un monstruo grande y pisa fuerte toda la pobre inocencia de la gente. Es un monstruo grande y pisa fuerte toda la pobre inocencia de la gente. Amén. Thank you so much. Um, can we just take a breath into our bodies and just be here now? Can we just take another deep breath into our body and just center ourselves into this moment? Recognizing right here and right now that we are surrounded by ancestors, that we are surrounded by angels, that we are surrounded by that which is indescribable that is around us now. We take another deep breath into our bodies and we breathe in this truth that we are loved. And to all those who are organizers, to all those who are activists, I simply say, I love you. You are loved. For all those who have experienced the pain of this week, I simply offer this blessing. You are loved. That we are doing exactly what we should be doing. That we are feeling it all. That we are allowing it all to touch us, to transform us, and to offer a new idea of what is possible. To all those on this call right now, in this meeting right now, I simply offer this truth. You are loved. You are exactly as you should be. You know, when Essex Enfield struggled with the death of Joseph Bean, he wrote, when I stand on the front lines now, cursing the lack of truth, the absence of willful change and strategic coalitions, I realize sewing quilts will not bring you back or save us. It's too soon, as it said, to make monuments for all we are losing, for the lack of truth as to why we are dying, who wants us dead, what purpose does it serve? But when my siblings fell, I picked up their weapons. I didn't question whether I could aim or be as precise as he. A needle and thread were not among the things I found. For so many of us right now, we are asking questions. We are feeling the loss. We are feeling the pain. And we're asking our hearts. We're asking our world why. And in this moment, I call upon the words of every person that we've heard that we are loved, that we are meant to be together in this moment to feel it all and to allow it to transform our world and our movements. And so I offer this prayer, life itself, love itself, that which is all in all, 
we call, I call upon your grace. I call upon your radical joy. I call upon your radical fury, your radical anger. I call upon it all. And for everyone who has felt the tears, for everyone that has felt alone, I call on our ancestors, our angels, and our guides to surround us now so that we may feel the love that is now. May we do the work of being together. May we do the work of not being divided. May we allow life itself, love itself, to transform us for the good of this movement, for this good of the world, for the good of life itself. And may we today experience an outrageous joy that can see through this now and see the possibilities of what is being produced and being formed in this moment. May we take a breath into our bodies and may we feel the love of life. May we take a breath into our bodies and feel what it looks like and it's the experience of being in community. And may we not hide our tears. May we not hide our anger. May we not hide our fury. May we not hide our shock. But may we put that at the forefront of our tongues so that this world will never be the same. And in the many names and in love itself, we know this to be the truth because together we know that there's no other way. Ashe. And so it is. Thank you. This is Caitlin Breedlove again. I want to say thank you so much um, for everyone for being here. Um, standing on the side of love will be sharing resources. Um, this week through social media of different crisis response. Um, if you're alone and you're needing more help than this, we want to continue to share resources. Um, Paulina from Song has shared with us that they are just coming back with their team from Orlando and that there will be a bigger um, queer and trans Latinx community vigil organized by folks in Orlando. We'll share information about that. Um, and we just want to tell you that we love you and we are grateful and thank you so much. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Love 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 you